I do believe that there will be a lot of people that will vote for Donald Trump because they see that, again, they're not just voting for Donald. They're voting for that entire unity party, and that is important. Zachary Levi, I'd like to get your thoughts and comments on this guy, Zachary Levi. Take a look. Do you think, Zachary, there are a lot more stars in Hollywood who are now leaning towards voting Trump than would actually admit it? Well, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, I think there are a lot of people, in the same way that you see a lot of newspapers right now, essentially kind of sitting out. Newspapers that traditionally would say, we are endorsing this candidate. And by the way, I mean, almost without fail, yeah. all of these newspapers have endorsed the Democratic candidate. The fact that they are sitting out is very indicative of a lot mm -hmm. of liberals, a lot of Democrats are not impressed with Kamala. Now she's now saying, well, we want to go and do the things that essentially Donald Trump was already doing and that, she, that they were vilifying him for. I mean, that to me is very um, telling of a candidate that you have a hard time wanting to cast a vote for. And I do think there's a lot of people in Hollywood that would love to vote for a Democratic candidate because they really don't like Trump. And I get it. I totally understand. There are a lot of people that are voting for Trump that don't think he's the greatest guy in the world. But this is not we're not looking for a, a spouse. We're, this, we're not we're not hiring somebody that we're working with day to day. We're looking for someone who has the chutzpah uh, to be able to go and and stand against the Putins and the Xi Jinping's and everyone else on an international level and also have the balls to, you know, go and make some decisions. And I think that in his four years that we saw that, by the way, a lot of people said it's going to be the end of the world. He, they were saying he was Hitler then and it's all going to fall apart. And it didn't. It actually wasn't such a bad four years. And the last four years with Kamala and, and uh, with Biden, I would argue have not been nearly as good. And I think a lot of people see that. And so they might be, you know, um, you know, holding their nose while they vote for Trump. But I do believe that there will be a lot of people that will vote for Donald Trump because they see that, again, they're not just voting for Donald. They're voting for that entire unity party. And that is important. Since I'm going to go ahead and guess that you agree with all of that, what would you say to somebody <laughs> who is still either politically in the closet or who in these next couple of days is still on the fence? They, they probably agree with largely what we've talked about here, but they're just having trouble getting there. So it's kind of two things. There's the closet element, and then there's that final step to actually changing the way you vote. Well, I, I'll start with this. For anybody in my industry, um, and I've said this before, I, I really believe, and I've been banging this drum for a minute, I really believe that AI is about to disrupt this entire world. Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. industry, every single industry, like I, people are sleeping on this shit and they, we need to wake up because AI is getting very, very, very good. And when you start putting the AI in the robotics that are getting very, very good, you can essentially replace all of the workforce in the world. I think it's gonna start in a place like Hollywood. We record audio and video and it goes through a computer. If that's the case, you can basically create whatever you want. Yep. And that means there's gonna be massive layoffs. So anyone in my industry that thinks, I don't know what to do, I don't wanna be vocal because I'm afraid I won't get jobs next year, or a, there won't be jobs. In fact, they're already at a, a mm -hmm. massive crisis level. So anyone in my industry who's still sitting on your hands and you're scared, Again, I would never pressure you to do anything, but I really believe that this is the moment. This is the moment because you're, there's not a lot of jobs to lose coming up. And by the way, we need to fix that. We need to create a new studio, one that I'm trying to do, which is going to safeguard human-made content. But anyone else beyond outside of my industry, listen, I don't. I know that every generation says, oh, man, this is the most important. This is the most important election we've ever had. We've never been in more dire straits than right now. But I, I, I think this is really that time. I think that we are at the precipice of either saving the free world or not. And, I, and that, that might sound crazy, but when you have a, a, a corrupted government, a government that's now this corrupted, and one that is, I think, colluding with other corrupted governments, and like you know your last advertisement, working with organizations like the World Economic Forum mm -hmm. and Klaus Schwab said, you will eat nothing and you, you will eat bugs and you will be happy and you will own nothing and you will be happy. They are telling you exactly what they plan to do. They want to rearrange all that is democracy into whatever their elite playground is going to be. I, I, I believe that with everything. In
When Rumble first started in 2013, they built the platform for the small creator. They didn't censor or have biases. They were fair and treated all creators equally. No one thought platforms would censor political conversation or censor opinions around COVID, but they did. Facebook admitted they fell to pressure from the Biden and Harris administration. Of course, Rumble did not. They held the line. They're attacked daily for giving us a voice to talk to you. They're attacked in corporate media. They're attacked by governments like France. They're attacked by brand advertisers who refuse to work with them. Corporate America is fighting to remove free speech while Rumble is fighting to keep it. Rumble won't survive with brand advertisers alone. They don't get much of it. So watching our show is the number one way we can ask for support from you. But if you really believe in this fight and you have the means, one major way you can help Rumble survive is by joining Rumble Premium. Join the community that believes in the First Amendment and believes in our human right to free speech. Rumble is offering $10 off with promo code Ruben when you purchase an annual subscription. Go to rumble.com slash premium slash Ruben and use code Ruben. Like I said, if you have the means and believe in the cause, now is the time to join Rumble Premium. If you don't have the means, we're just happy if you watch us right here on Rumble. Rumble. 